welcome back dear friends and students in this video i'm going to write a function to calculate factorial of a number later i'm going to develop a python program to compute binomial coefficient given n and r what is the outcome of watching this video at the end of watching this video you will be able to explain the logic to find factorial of a number you will be able to explain the logic to develop a program to compute a binomial coefficient and you will be able to write and execute python program to develop a program to compute binomial coefficient let's see the program statement again write a function to calculate factorial of a number develop a program to compute binomial coefficient given n and r dear friends and students before we discuss the program let's see what is binomial coefficient a binomial coefficient often referred as n choose r or written as c of n r represents the number of ways to choose r items from a set of n distinct items without regard to the order of the selection it is a fundamental concept in combinatorics and is often used in various fields of mathematics science and engineering the binomial coefficient c of nr is calculated using the following formula here binomial coefficient is equal to factorial of n divided by factorial of r into factorial of n minus r where factorial of n is given by 1 into 2 into 3 into so on to up to n let's see the algorithm to calculate factorial of a number here we want function to calculate factorial where the function will get a number n and we need to find a factorial of n in step 1 we are going to initialize two variables where one variable is fact which is equal to 1 and another variable is number of iterations is equal to 1 and in step 2 we are going to calculate whether number of iterations is less than or equal to n if a number of iterations are less than or equal to n then go to step 3 otherwise go to step 5 and whenever number of iterations are less than n so step 3 in step 3 we are going to calculate factorial is equal to factorial into number of iterations initially iterations will be 1 fact, fact will be 1 so it will be like 1 into 1 later we will increment the iterations iterations is equal to iterations plus 1 and in step 4 go to step 2 step 2 step 3 step 4 will be repeated till iterations are less than or equal to n once the iterations will become greater than n then it will come to step 5 by the time it will come to step 5 the fact will be having a factorial of a given number that is n in step 5 we are going to return the factorial and this is the algorithm to compute binomial coefficient already we have seen function to calculate factorial I here we will see steps to compute binomial coefficient in step 1 we are going to read inputs that's nothing but values of n and r and in step 2 we are going to check some conditions for n and r if n is less than 0 or r is less than 0 or r is greater than n then we will go to step 3 because in these cases the binomial coefficient will be either zero or it will not exist because of that if this condition becomes true we will go to step 3 in step 3 we will set result equal to zero and directly go to step 5 to display the result and if this condition is false then we will go to step 4 in step 4 we will calculate the result based on the formula factorial of n divided by factorial of r into factorial of n minus r after calculating this result we will display the result and in step 6 we will stop this is a flow chart to compute factorial function factorial of n initially we will set fact is equal to 1 and number of iterations equal to 
Later we are going to check whether number of iterations is less than or equal to n. If number of iterations are less than or equal to n, if it is true, yes, then fact will be fact into number of iterations. Later we are going to increment the iterations, iterations is equal to iterations plus 1 and this loop will be repeated again and again till the number of iterations is less than or equal to n. Once the number of iterations will become more than n, then we will return the result. This is a flowchart to compute binomial coefficient. So already we have seen this flowchart which will calculate the factorial of n. Now if you see if you see this, this is the flowchart to compute binomial coefficient. So once we start, initially we are going to read n and r value. Later we will check this condition whether n is less than 0 or r is less than 0 or r is greater than n. If this condition is true, nothing but if s, then result will be 0 and later we will display the result. If this condition is false, then we will calculate the result based on the formula so factorial of n divided by factorial of r into factorial of n minus r. After calculating this, we will display the result which will be binomial coefficient. What is the expected result? There are three different scenarios to check. In first execution, we have entered n and r value where n is greater than r and for that if when, when n is equal to 8 and r is equal to 5, the binomial coefficient is 56. And in case of second execution, we have entered r equal to 0 and n greater than 0. And in this case, the binomial coefficient is 1. And in third execution, we have entered n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 8, where n is less than r. In this case, binomial coefficient is 0. With this, let's start the coding. Dear friends and students, I am using Ubuntu operating system to show the execution of this program. This is the Linux terminal. Let me open a file named program underscore 2b.py. Let me have a multi-line comment to write the program statement. Write a function to calculate factorial of a number. Later, develop a program to compute binomial coefficient given n and r. So here, I am going to end the multi-line comment which is nothing but a doc string in case of python. So here I will first write the function to calculate factorial of a given number. And function can be written with the keyword def space and here name of the function I will take it as a factorial and within this n is a parameter. And here, initially let me take a variable fact is equal to 1 and I use a for loop for i in range of 1 to n plus 1 because i will start from first range and which is 1 here and it goes up to, if I have written n here, it goes up to n minus 1. Because it should go up to n, I have written here n plus 1. Where if n is equal to say for example 5, 5 plus 1 will be 6. So that the range will be up from 1 to 5. Here I am going to multiply fact star equals which is nothing but fact is equal to fact into i. And after calculating factorial, let me return the factorial return fact. So afterwards, let me write main code or driving code 
to compute binomial coefficient initially i'm going to read values of n and r so here n is equal to int input enter the value of n similarly r is equal to int input enter the value of r after reading n and r values i'm going to write the logic to compute binomial coefficient here i'm going to write the logic to compute binomial coefficient initially i'll check the values of n and r if n is less than 0 or r is less than 0 or r is greater than n if any of these conditions is true then result is equal to 0 else result is equal to so here i am going to calculate write the formula to calculate the binomial coefficient which is nothing but factorial of n integer division divided by here factorial of r into factorial of n minus r this is the formula to calculate the binomial coefficient once it is calculated later we are going to display the result display the binomial coefficient so i use print function print binomial print the value of binomial coefficient in bracket percent d c percent d is percent d so here percent of first one is n second one is r and third one is result so this percent d c percent d is nothing but first percent d is going to take value of n and second percent d is going to take value of r so this is nothing but n c r it is going to print the value of binomial coefficient where n c r is percent d here the value of result is printed and let me save this here let me execute the program using python 3 interpreter enter the value of n let me enter 8 enter the value of r 5 and the value of binomial coefficient 8 c 5 is 56 and if i run once again this time enter the value of n let me enter 5 enter the value of r say so let me enter 0 this is binomial coefficient 1 and so if i enter say for example n is 0 and r is sum of value then binomial coefficient is 0 and if i enter n is say for example 8 and r is 9 then the value of binomial coefficient is 0 hope this is clear to all of you dear students thank you Thank you for